Me again in this episode of Cooking with Mark. We're going to uh, we're going to make some deep dish pizzas, Mark style. So what I did is I got some pans. These are eight inch pie pans. You're going to see that they do fit down in here. Might distort it a little bit the shape of it. Or if you want, this is an eight inch pie pan. You can cut the edge off of it. See that? Cut the edge off. Fits down much better. Okay. Anyway. We got some packaged uh, bread dough, four packs of regular pizza crust mix, add water, let it set around, and I'll show you what's next here soon. So we're gonna take some pan cooking spray, get the pan real light. We rolled our crust out big enough, because what I wanna do is I wanna try to act like we're making a, you know, a regular pie, like a fruit pie. So we're gonna throw it in there. We're gonna let that extra crust hang over the edge, okay? So we're going to let it hang over the edge. We're not going to tear it. We're going to tuck it all down in here nice and neat. And then you're going to fill it with your favorite pizza toppings. First, we're going to start out with some sauce. Of course, my table is full of food. A little bit of sauce. Throw it in there. Let's get a spoon here. You can use as little or as much of sauce as you want. Um, I'm making this how my kids would like it. I'm not going to eat any of this. It may take a little nibble, a little bit of sauce. Use more sauce, less sauce, it don't matter. This is a clean towel I threw in here just so I didn't make a big mess. We're gonna throw some cheese in here. And I want you to throw your favorite toppings in here. So we'll throw some cheese, decent amount of cheese. You want ham? Mm -hmm. They can't hear you. You want ham? I like meat. He likes meat. You heard him. It's rubbing off. So we're going to throw some cheese. Never mind the flour and stuff I got over my shirt already. So we're going to put some ham in here. If I was eating this, I'd throw some onions in here, but I'm not. So you want some pepperoni? I like meat. He likes meat, so that's a yes for pepperoni. I'd put onions. I'd put mushrooms. Um... So we're going to throw that in there. Some pepperoni. We got some of that. Boom. 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 You want to make sure you're generous with your pepperonis. Be generous with your meat. Throw your meat around. Just throw it around. Throw your meat. Just throw it. Okay, you had a bad day? Throw your pepperoni. Okay, throw some pepperonis on there. You guessed it, more cheese. You guys are like mind readers. Okay, this time I want you to pack that down a little bit. A little more sauce. Your choice how much sauce you want to use. You want to use a lot, use a lot. You want to use a little, use a little. It don't matter, it's your choice. Okay, some more pepperonis. Bam, bam. Hear how they make noise? Bam. Couple more pepperonis. Like I said, this is an eight inch pizza pan. I got three of them for a buck at some rinky dink grocery store. A little more ham. Salt and pepper, whatever kind of seasonings you like in there. We're not gonna use, uh, well, we'll use a little bit of, uh, we're gonna use a little bit of salt from the tears of the Pittsburgh Steelers fans today. I was trying not to, I was trying to avoid salt. So I didn't have to use the tears of the Pittsburgh Steelers. Some salt. Some pepper. Not too much. Some more cheese. The rest of this bag. We'll throw it on there. So we got a whole bag of that in there. And then we're going to take this and we're going to set it aside. And I'll show you what's next. Okay. I put some more cheese. Some more sauce that I didn't show you. I'm being a little... Uh, not very generous on the sauce. That's there's a reason for it. I'm stretching this out. I want you to stretch it out just like that. And this crust here, second crust, I want you to take it and fling it up on here. Fling. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna take some uh Kitchen scissors I have here. Nice clean kitchen scissors. Don't use dirty scissors. Don't use the ones you cut your uh, roses with. 
we're gonna trim this off. We're gonna trim it off pretty much just about uh, level with the pan, with the edge of the pan, but I don't want you to cut the dough that's hanging down, okay? Don't cut the dough that's hanging down, just cut this one, okay? And you're gonna make it about the same diameter as the pan. It can be a little, little more, or maybe even a little less, that's okay. Uh, just kind of take your fingers. Don't pinch this dough off. We're going to need this. We need this extra here. So I want you to kind of take this and pinch this off. Seal this off. This is the top to the bottom without removing the flaps here. We got some flaps. Don't remove the flaps. Oops, I tore the flap. That's okay. Because I'm going to show you something. Let me show you something. I'm going to take some butter. This is melted butter. I'm going to brush it around here. I want you to brush around the edge. Brush it around the edge. Get a nice, I don't know, an inch or two in. Okay, brush that all around the edge. And then what we're gonna do, I know it's a mess, but I clean up pretty quick. I'm gonna take a knife. I'm gonna take a cheese stick. It don't matter, right on the same board here. You know what, I don't wear gloves when I cook. You know why I don't wear gloves? Because you don't wear gloves when you cook with your family either. Okay, so I'm not even gonna fake the game. If I was cooking in a restaurant, I'd consider it. This isn't a restaurant. We're gonna cut these up. Make them as big or as small as you want. We got a couple of them here. And uh, this is my idea I came up with today, sitting at work, daydreaming. Okay, I wasn't daydreaming for anybody important watching this. I was doing my job, doing my J-O-B. Then we're just gonna take these and we're gonna lay these around here. Put them around the edge. Now you may get on the internet and you may find this somewhere. If you do, don't blame me. Like I said, I've never done this before. This is my idea. I'm gonna take this extra, I want you to take this extra dough and I want you to try to paint it too the best you can because it's hanging all over the place. There's a little tear in that, that's okay. Take the extra dough, paint that up with some butter. Butter on that, some butter over here. Butter, 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 you get the idea. Butter it all up. Then we're gonna flip this up. Oh no, I'm sorry. Let's take some, this is some uh, garlic tears from the salt of a stiller fan. And uh, we're gonna, just not a lot. You don't wanna overdo it, just a little bit. You don't want too much. Then we're gonna take this crust, we're gonna flip it over. Flip it over, it don't have to be pretty. Flip it over, it don't have to be pretty. Cause after we bake this, we're gonna cover this here with cheese and sauce. But we're not gonna do that till it's baked. So flip it over, try to keep it even with the pan. Flip it over, you can use more cheese, less cheese. There we go, Mark's deep dish pizza. I'm gonna go ahead and Seal this up with butter. You can use egg wash if you don't want to use butter. They both work the same. Both serve the same purpose, but for real, no one likes a little cheesy knot with uh, egg wash. The garlic and butter gives it a little more flavor. So, get it all buttered up there. Get it all buttered up. You see any holes? Run your finger over them, seal them up. This pan is pretty, um, Pretty thin, so you got to be careful when you get it out. You might want to put it into a regular pie dish, but we're going to put this in the air fryer. We're going to try it. We're going to do it at uh, 350 for 12 minutes, and I'll be back. I didn't start cooking that one yet. Um, normally, I'd go ahead and throw that in the air fryer and get it cooking while I do this one because it could set for a little while. That way, two of them's done at the same time. That way, if you're feeding four people, but uh, what we're going to do is we're going to make another pizza crust, and I'm going to try to get a little Italian on you here, okay. Want to see it behind the back? No, I'm not even going to try it. Just kidding. So we're going to get another pizza crust out here. Okay, get it all stretched out. Don't tear holes in it. Don't throw flour over the kitchen because you're the one cleaning it up. Okay. You don't have to throw it in the air. I'm just screwing around. Anyway, we've got another crust here. But what we're going to do with this one is once we get it all rolled out here and 
the way it needs to be. Remember, make the bottom crust bigger. It's going to be the... Make it big enough. Okay, get the bottom crust all rolled up. You got your pan, it's floured up. I'm going to throw that down in there. Let the extras hang over the edge. What we're going to do different with this one is we're not going to put any pizza sauce in it at all. Okay, we're not going to use pizza sauce. I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're going to take some cheese. You don't want no air bubbles forming in there. We're going to take some cheese. This time we're using this kind of cheese. Okay, some sharp cheddar and some Mexican. Put some in there. A nice base of cheese. If you wanted to, you could put taco sauce in there. A couple shots of taco sauce. I don't think they want taco sauce. No, no taco sauce, he said. Okay. Well, we got taco meat. This is taco meat made from ground turkey that I actually made about three days ago. Uh, it's not poisonous yet. Three days ago, it's made from 93, 93%, 93 lean ground turkey, taco sauce, just like you would normally make tacos if you were making tacos at home. Put a nice coating of that on there. If I was eating this, I'd put some taco sauce in there, but I'm going to make it how they want it or how they like it. Some more cheese. Okay. We're actually going to throw some onions in here. I know he said no onions, but we're going to do some and he's going to like it. No, I won't. Yes, he will. Yes, I will. He's arguing with me behind the camera. But he's a little sour and sore, you know, after the game. He's a little upset. Personally, myself, I don't have a team. No one likes I like you. a lot of teams. So we're going to throw some onions. We're going to throw some pepper. We're going to skip the uh, tears from the fan because uh, the taco meat's salty enough although it is less sodium. A couple more blobs of taco meat. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Just like that. Okay. More cheese. If you want to you can even add more cheese. If I get this open, we're going to throw some more cheese in there. What we're going to do this time is we're going to cover it with a crust, but we're not going to put the little garlic uh, knot thingies on there. So we're going to go ahead and cover this. I'm going to cook this at 350 for 7 to 10 minutes, and then I'll show you what they look like. Here, let me see that camera. I want to show you why he's a little salty. Yeah, tears from a Steeler fan. Well, anyway, I'm not making fun. I like the Steelers. I'm going to cook these up. I'm going to show you what they look like. I want to thank you for watching. I tried not to drag it out, but I'm going to go ahead and put a crust on top, trim it up. Uh, we're going to paint it with some uh, either egg wash or um, butter. Thanks for watching. We like meat. I got a little sidetracked here, so a little delay. I had to make some wings. I had to thaw it out for the kids. And uh, this is the uh, garlic... Uh, pizza thing this is the one with the ham and cheese it hadn't it doesn't have a name yet but it will so we're gonna go throw it in there we're gonna put it in i don't know what i said in the video because it's been a while like i said i got sidetracked i had to go pick my wife up and stuff but anyway we're gonna put it in here and i don't know what you like told you but uh and i'm not following the recipe book so i'm gonna put it on uh 360 and we're gonna we're gonna try we'll do it for 14 minutes at 360 and see what happens see you in a little bit uh, it's been cooking almost half time, so let's take a peek at it. It's looking pretty good. We're going to let her keep going for another five to eight minutes and decide what we're going to do with it. Hey, cooking with Mark. Um, we're going to go ahead and um, we're going to take this first one out. I set it at 360 for uh, 12 minutes. You can still see it has five minutes left, so it's been in for nine minutes. I'm sorry, not nine minutes, seven minutes. Yeah, seven minutes. Um, but we're gonna go ahead and take this out. That's seven minutes. I don't know what the bubbling is and the boiling. I think it's cheese. So we're gonna take this out. Um, we're gonna be careful because it's gonna be hot. We're gonna separate the 
the basket from the pan and we're going to put it in this um, baking dish. What we're going to attempt to do is we're going to attempt to get this out of here without burning ourselves a lot. It smells good. It looks good. I'm trying not to break it all up into pieces. Um, so I'm going to just try to take this wooden spoon, get it wedged underneath, and pop it out real fast. There we go. Just like that. What we're going to do is, this is the taco meat um, and cheese, cheddar cheese and Mexican cheese. We're going to go throw that on. We're going to put it in 360. And we're going to do it for, uh, set it for 12 minutes too. We're going to let this one cool down and then we're going to show you what it looks like, okay? Okay, we got this other one. This is the taco one. We got that in there. 12 minutes, 360. I'm going to show you what they both look like here in a little bit. I want to thank you guys for watching. Thanks for watching. I like meat. We're not going to wait until the other one's done. The other one's been there for two minutes. They're hungry. They want to eat. I've been screwing around long enough. So we're going to cut this open. We're going to check it out and see what it looks like. See if it's done. Uh, this, this foil pan's pretty, pretty cheap. Three for 99 cents. So you don't want to go cutting a foil pan all up. We're just going to cut a wedge out of this. Let's not forget, I was going to put cheese and sauce all over the top, but I think that should be optional. I think if you want more cheese and sauce, that's something you should do on your own. It's not something you should uh, destroy the crispy crust. Um, we got the little cheesy bites around the edge here. We're going to take this uh, here. Make sure you cut the whole way through it. Crust. This seems crispy. Crispy. And this is pizza dough. Watch the video. Quit being cheap and watching the end. I think we got a cut finally. Let's scoop it out here just like a piece of pie. Bring it in. Bring it in. Check it out. Cheese, ham. You can cook it a little longer, a little less, whatever you prefer. Check this out. Remember the crust where I put the cheese, little cheese balls in it? Look at that. Huh? Check it out. It's like uh, little cheesy bites attached to your meal. There you go. I'll show you the talk one in a little bit. Thanks for watching. Okay, this one's been in for about seven minutes. Okay, that's about how long the other one cooked and we took it out. I'm gonna let this in for an additional about two minutes because I think the bottom crust could use a little more cooking, but I have no complaints, it was pretty good. So this total cooking time on this is gonna be about nine minutes. This is the taco one. How was it? Good. How is it? Good. All right, this has been in for about nine minutes. Um, I'm gonna say the cooking time on these, 10 minutes, 11 minutes, somewhere in there. Prefer, preferably how dark you like them. Let me show you. It's been for about nine minutes. We cooked it a little longer than the last one. Listen, hear that? Hear it? That's the crust. That's the crust. So we're gonna go ahead and get this out of the pan and I'll show you what it looks like. This is the taco one. We're gonna cut it open here, see what it looks like. It's taco meat with uh, Mexican blend cheeses and uh, cheddar cheese. And we'll see what it looks like. This pizza crust seems a little thicker for some reason. I don't know why, because it's all from the same batch. Maybe because I let it set a little longer. Check it out. See that? Taco meat made from turkey, ground, lean ground turkey, cheddar cheese, Mexican cheese. Check it out. Look at that. Looks pretty good to me. 
Check it out. Get a close up. Bam. Good enough. Hey, I want to thank you guys for watching. Uh, have a good night.